الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله فمن أصول أهل السنة والجماعة أز إمام أبي جعفر التحاوي سيز رحمه الله تعالى and he was talking about the Aqidah to Ahl sunnah with regards to the Umarah, with regards to the leaders, because we see in this time, in this day and age, especially one of the fitnas that we deal with as a nation is the fitna of takfir, the fitna of people declaring one another to be innovators without the uh, the right to do, to do so, without conditions, without the wabit and criterion. And one of the most dangerous forms of that and more extreme is that of making takfir of one another without the right to do so. And the Prophet ﷺ warned us uh, and mentioned that the one who makes takfir on his brother, that that takfir will uh, come to him if what he's saying is not true. And so, Ahabatifillah, listen to this kalam of Imam al-Tahawi, rahimahullah ta'ala, he said, التي يحكيها عن أئمة الثلاثة أبو حنيفة نعمان بن ثابت وأبو يوسف القاضي ومحمد بن حسن الشيباني ولا نرى الخروج على أئمة على أئمتنا وولاة الأمورنا وإن جاروا ولا ندعو عليهم ولا ننازع يد من طاعتهم ونرى طاعتهم من طاعة الله فريدة ما لم يأمروا uh, Imam Tahawi he said that what is mentioned on our three Imams, and this is on the Imam of the Hanafi Madhab, Imam Abu Hanifa, wa Imam uh, Abu Yusuf Al Qadi, wa Imam Muhammad ibn Hassan al Shaybani, Rahimahullah Jami'an, that he said that. And he mentioned this to show that their belief is the belief of Ahl Sunnah, which shows that these takfiris and these mubtadi'a who declare other Muslims to be innovators without the right to do so, or other Muslims to be disbelievers without the right to do so, or murjia or whatever they claim, that this is bid'a min enduhum. This is a bid'a from them, and this has nothing to do with the creed and minhaj of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. So he said, and we see, we view, that uh, rebelling against our leaders from amongst the, uh, the rulers of the Muslims, even if they are uh, fasak, even if they are uh, ty- tyrannical, ty- uh, tyrants, uh, we do not supplicate against them. We do not remove our hand from obedience to them, meaning break the bayah if you have the bayah, and if you don't have the bayah, then just being disobedient to the Muslim rulers. And we do not, and we see that obedience to them is obedience to Allah, and it's an obligation uh, as long as they don't command you to do disobedience to Allah. And we supplicate for them, for their health and for their rectification. Look at the difference between Ahl Sunnah wa Ahl al Bid'ah. Those people, those Mubtadiya Takfiris, those evil, wicked sinners, those fasak milli, fusak milli, those uh, wicked, disobedient sinners who are disobedient in the, with regards to the religion of Islam because they distort it and they declare uh, other believers to be disbelievers and they believe in spilling the bloodshed of the Muslims, which is a travesty and is an evil, wicked uh, innovation. And it is the sunnah of the Khawarij, who the Prophet wasallam said is al Khawarij kilab al nar. So, if you want to follow the sunnah of the Prophet wasallam, you would follow the hadith in which he wasallam says, "Sami wa taala mari al Muslim fi ma yuhibu wa kariya ma lam yu'miru bi maasiyatin fi ida umira bi maasiyatin fala sama wa la taa." That uh, hearing and obeying the Muslim ruler, and that which you love, and that which is difficult, and that which you dislike. Uh, as long as he doesn't command you to do disobedience to Allah, and if he commands you to do disobedience to Allah, then there's no hearing and obeying in that command. So look at the difference between the people who hide behind uh, keyboards and make takfir of people or write pamphlets, or even some of them are active in their da'wah. And what is a travesty is look at how many people who studied the creed of Ahl Sunnah 
And no, look at all those people who are big dies, who now openly criticize the leaders and cause the people to dislike the leaders more than they already dislike them and cause the people to be more disinclined or uh, have more dislike for the itiqad of Ahl sunnah and more dislike for the minhaj of Ahl sunnah And this is a travesty because a lot of these people are big du'at and all they do is spend time speaking wicked and spreading the wickedness of the rulers and criticizing the rulers and spreading their tyranny further than the borders their tyranny has already uh, proceeded. And this is uh, against the minhaj of the salaf and it is something which is a travesty upon the ummah and we ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides these people and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroy all of the takfiris or guide them, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide them but uh, some of these evil wicked shayateen may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroy them because they are destroyers of the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam they are destroyers of the da'wah to tawheed they are the destroyers of the itiqad of Ahl sunnah and the minhaj of Ahl sunnah they are those who spread wickedness amongst the Muslims so sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam